Hey, if you are in real estate, let me ask you a question. Are you making all you can? Are you getting leads from your website? Is your website one of the best systems out there right now? Are you looking to find a way to retire at some point while still maintaining a passive income? You're in the right place. Welcome to the Exponential Files, hosted by Jim Lowenstern, CEO of the Castles Unlimited team, brokered by EXP Realty, and me, Larry Lawfer. Welcome to the episode uh, three, Jim. What's in store for today? Okay. Well, you wanted one question, you got four. Let's call it Castles Unlimited, brokered by EXP. And when I say that, that's, you know, the, the team thing is just a, a local MLS thing. Oh, okay. So we've got. Uh, wait, a, wait, wait a minute. Screen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you yeah. just correct me in the show about. Uh, about I didn't well, you even said, let me you. ask you a question. And there were four questions. Uh, there wasn't four questions. Listen, I just, I just drove through a blizzard. Okay. We're not so, gonna have so you're problems. upset. You're, you're at home. Nice and cozy. Yeah. I'm upset. All right. Uh, let's... I'm moving to Florida. Okay. Uh, well, so we're going to, we're going to be talking about the business model today, the EXP business model. We're going to do it concisely. We're going to do it so that, you don't have to read my book if you don't need if you don't want to your million dollar month in real estate so damn i wish uh, you had told DX, me that before i read it <laughs> yeah so the de no desk fees with the xp no royalty free no royalty fees or franchise fees yeah. so it's very simple it's an 80 20 split everybody gets the same split there's no special people out there that get a higher split there's no new agent splits. Everyone's 80-20. And at a $16,000 a year cap, you go to 100% for the balance of the year. So there is a way to even get that cap back in your pocket. But we're going to talk about that with, with another slide. Uh, there's, uh, let's see, 250. Okay, so after you cap, yes, there is $250 per transaction, but that's not bad. You could you could have a $20,000 commission and pay 250 bucks. Yeah. And mm -hmm. those fees, once you've paid in 5,000, it goes down to $75, exact same thing, okay? Mm -hmm. So $20,000 commission, $10,000 commission, it'll be 75 bucks. Standard costs, $149. To get get yourself into the system, eighty five bucks a month. What that gets you is KV Core CRM. It gets you the um, free website. Gets you access to three thousand plus Regis offices around the world. Gets you a SkySlope digital. Um, what do you say? Document um, uh, platform. What else? I, oh, it, it gets you, it gets you uh, into EXP world for training. There's uh, at least 50 new hours a week. Plus it gets you into all the work groups, all the meta groups that EXP offers. I mean, it's training. And with the Castles Unlimited uh, team, if, if you're choosing us as your sponsor, you're gonna get uh, a $2,800 a month coaching course and all your sponsorships would also get that course that's a lot uh, 20, that's a twenty five dollar broker review i believe that's on every transaction and the forty dollar uh risk management basically that's e and o annual that caps at 500 bucks it's an awful lot, and it rivals almost any of the other franchises uh, out there. Well, what the we're seeing the is the difference is it's not a franchise, um, and that's one of the main differences. And the better agents are now joining, so the these these numbers for them, for what they're used to at Sotheby's or or uh, Caldwell Banker or Christie's or those companies, uh, this is unbelievable. 
plus a few sponsorships and all of this gets paid and then some. There are people retiring We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. That's another. That's another slide. Well, that's uh, yeah. That's what I talked about in the opening. Is in, in fact, whoop. There we go. Get to the next slide. Uh, this is share revenue share review. Whoop. Are you talking? I can't hear you. I, I am talking. Okay. There you go. I don't. I don't see the slide though. There you do. Right. Nope, not yet. Well, we're sharing the screen. I see you. Yep, I see me. I yeah. See, I, I don't see the screen. Now there. I see the screen. Awesome. All right. So let's let's talk about the cascading revenue share. Someone uh, comes to you. You've been working with EXP or Castles Unlimited EXP, and someone asks you, "Gee, Larry, tell me about EXP." Well. First of all, you can just review the, send them right to this video. But here's what, what happens. Tier one is everyone that you sponsor, we'll say, or recruit. That's the old terminology. But anybody who picks you as a sponsor, you're going to get from the company's side of the commission, three and a half percent up to the 16,000 cap which makes it $2,800 per year per agent, okay? Anybody that you've sponsored now, when they sponsor somebody, you're gonna get 0.2% of that person's commission. But if you've recruited, and that's where you see tier two and you see five plus, um, and if you look above, it says first tier agents needed, and FLQRs is also, uh, I'll let you know, it's frontline qualified realtors, okay? So once you hit five or more on your first tier, that 0.2% becomes 4%. So that actually is a 20X increase by getting up to five or more agents, qualified agents on your first tier. And qualified agents, I think they just have to have a $5,000 commission every six months. That's it. It's, you know, even that's not very qualified, but it, well, it's I'm something. just saying, yeah, it, it, you know, if it's a part time agent and they're not doing any business at all, you're not going to make any money anyway on, on, on them anyway, correct. Yeah. But, but the encouragement here from going from one agent, two agents, three agents, four agents, to five agents is that 20X increase. And that increase is 0.2% to 4% is a 20 times increase. Yeah. So there are gonna be months that an EXP agent is gonna be making X and then they're gonna recruit maybe even just one agent. Maybe they had four agents that are qualified and now they have five and their agents have recruited people and that's your tier two. You're gonna see your income go up and that portion of the revenue by a factor of 20, which, you know, it's it, it's it's pretty amazing to see X amount of dollars one month and 20X the next month. Right. And don't forget, you've recruited another person. So that person could be recruiting more people, which brings more money. It's the, I would say the multiplying effect of this entire system that is so genius it makes it so unique in the business. No one else yeah. has it. KW, of course, has something that's with profit, but with profit, you're never gonna figure out how you're paid. This is all very etched in stone. It's revenue. Well, it's well, uh, yeah, it's, it's revenue. So it's top line and profit share is not top line. Profit share is after the actual individual company has determined that it's made a profit. And then you get your, your profit share based on whatever's left. So it, it will Let's always, put it this way. It'll, it'll always be a lesser amount. KW, I think there's a white paper online. If you want to read through it, I think it's about a dozen pages to figure out how how they pay. Meanwhile, this is one page. Right. It's a grid. It's you can just plug it in. 
And the technology that runs this whole thing, I mean, th this is all just a two-dimensional grid. What you get is a dashboard that not only includes all the names of the people that you've recruited, all the names of the people that the people you've recruited have, have sponsored and so on. It breaks it down by the expansion share percentage, the exponential right. share percentage right. each month. They tell you how much you made last month, how much you're anticipated to make this month. And also in that dashboard are little things like a uh, Morgan Stanley account Right. Because while you're doing all this, they're giving you shares of stock, hundreds right. of dollars worth of stock for everyone that you've recruited when they sell something, when you sell something. Um, there, there was one. Other, oh, when you cap. Yeah. The, you get your shares of stock. And, also. And, and you can also take part of your commission. What is that? 10 percent of your commission and buy at a five, reduced rate. five, five percent of your commission at a 10 percent discount. Yeah. So that particular money is interesting because you can have a closing on Monday. You can close that account out. You can sell it for a 10% profit the next day. It is not a lockdown um, period. Um, so let's just look at this um, grid just a little bit further. Uh, you'll see that tier three it goes down to 2.5%, tier four, 1.5, tier five, 1%. But then it starts going up again. And tier seven is 5%. It goes from half a percent for expansion. And then once you've gone from 25 agents and you go add another 15 and you've got now 40 or more qualified agents, now on tier seven, you get 5% but you also have opened up every level at the maximum. So yeah. I believe if you add up all of those exponential shares, what you find is that is, is that 20%? Uh, it's, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's, it's basically, they're offering you pretty much everything that they're bringing in by being that good at expanding your team and sponsorship. Hey, That's were pretty you, amazing. That is, that is really amazing. Uh, let me ask you a show question. Were you seeing me uh, look at all the technology or were you uh, still looking at the uh, expansion? Uh, I, this... I see the share overview. That's on my oh, screen. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Do we um, want to go to the next screen? Yeah, yeah. I had to, uh, I had to go check and see what what's going there definitely gonna know. have to edit this show <laughs> nah nah let it be let it be let it be here there we go okay can you see that one now huh for some reason let me get back to the zoom at some point there we go and there's three and share Okay, so that's how I have to do that. There you go. So here we go. EXPI is the um, ticker symbol for EXP Realty. Um, so the first thing, sustainable equity plan, earn shares on your first transaction, earn shares when you fully cap, earn shares when you're agent. Uh, and, and I forget which, which is which. I, I think for most of those, it's $400 worth of of stock, uh, one of them might be 200, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll cover that on the next show. Icon agent, okay. So icon agents uh, have hit their cap and they've had another 20 transactions or they've done 500,000 gross commission income GCI for the year or more and that's icon status. So the $16,000 in stock is locked up, I believe for three years. Um, you get 8,000 as soon as you become an icon agent, all icon agents get 8,000. The other 8,000 is broken up into $4,000 worth of stock and then two and two. I believe the 4,000 is if you're uh, 
basically part of uh, coaching and mentoring new agents. And the other 2000 and 2000, you get that back if you're attending the um, EXP um, events. Uh, there's one coming up in Cabo next month, for example. There's no so tickets they, for that one now. now. Um, tickets, probably. I don't know. I, I think, Every once I think in a while, some, I'll see some. Yeah, they're, they're agents that are selling them. But they do sell out. That's the point. We've yeah. got 75,000 agents now worldwide. And, um, you know, the only venue that's going to handle all 75,000, hopefully, is EXP World. Uh, where we're all just, you know, digital versions of ourselves. Right, right. The agent equity, we covered that 5% at a 10% discount, no lockup period. You can sell it the next day, which is not bad. I've got some agents, they're doing um, transactions every other day. Uh, they can make an additional 10% on their 5% of their commissions every few days. Yesterday, they released the, um, the annual revenue report, and the, the stock went up almost 20%. Yeah, yeah. There's it did a go lot down of, today. The last well, time I looked, it was down a little. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it is going to fluctuate. It's, it, it trades more like a tech stock than a, a real estate stock because it has uh, Verbella um, that they're – they're doing Verbella with other companies. They're selling that uh, metaverse system to Fortune 500 companies, and I believe government, like I think the state State Department. And we uh, should we thing? should do a show where we're actually in the virtual world. I think that'd be that'd be cool. I don't know if we could uh, do that. We'd have to check on. You'll that. figure you'll figure it out. Um, and I'll come along for the ride. <clears throat> my my avatar right now has like a, a little, um, uh, like a beanie. I, I look like I'm going to be playing um, hacky sack in the in the park. <laughs> I haven't spent a lot of time, uh, yeah, uh, customizing it. What what I particularly liked about it was uh, answering questions, though, yeah, because you have a question and and you can ask. There's uh, a from around the world, there's people that are in there, agents, working agents, producing agents. And if you have a question, somebody will step up and answer it. And it, and it won't be uh, like, uh, like Facebook real estate answers, you know, uh, what's the best uh, uh, website I should have. It's deep dive into uh, the nuts and bolts of our industry. Um, let's move on to our next, next slide. Slide slide and i gotta share the screen look at me i know what i'm doing here there you go and there it is here let me move me us out of the way looks like the it looks like the same thing we just had though yeah it's supposed to be it does look like it doesn't it let me uh were we looking at exp oh. is high tech the exponential files is I'm not going to say low tech. It's sort of like <laughs> mid tech. Yeah. Well, it's us. It's us. Uh, and uh, anyway, we're done with we're done with those. It looks like uh, we had. Uh, I never looked scarier. Uh, yeah. Here, let's. Oh, stop the share. There's my issue. There we go. All right. Um, I think I, I, I don't see the screen. No, because it uh, three and four were the same. Oh, is that all so the they screens? Were, yeah, that was all we're the all screens. We're all done? We're, we're done with that part uh, of the show. Okay. Um, and, but I, I, I want to recap a little bit because it's kind of dry the way that, that um, there were probably five or six new ways for a real estate agent to make more money. Um, it is in the recruiting, it's profit share, uh, revenue share. So it, it's more profit. It's similar uh, where you could bring in people and they bring in people and you get a better cut of what's going on there. But I think, okay, so that, that's a little similar 
to Keller Williams, not surprisingly. Uh, it's revenue, not profit. The big thing is the stock because it's publicly traded stock. And uh, it has been just a meteoric kind of rise. You can't expect that to be the next 10, 12 years. It's going to keep going like that. But um, uh, if it you're could. in, yeah, it could. it could. I mean, because their rate of growth right now does not seem to be diminishing. And they're opening up new countries. I mean, I've, I've got agents in our group that want to open up China. Yeah. Now, think. Now, just think about that one country. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they have second to the United States, and and they may pass us in the next few years. The biggest economy in the world, and the number one driver of their economy is real estate. Yeah. I mean, they they literally build entire cities that their population then invests in. Right. And I mean, it's all that stuff is gonna to have to be sold at some point. Right. It might be a fire sale, but people are gonna to need to sell it. Right. And people are gonna be buying it when they sell it. Right. All those transactions. So, and that's just one country. So we're at 22 countries now. We anticipate in the next four years, maybe the top five years to, to be up to 50 countries and eventually a hundred countries. So it's not just the expansion within the United States, but you and I both know there's so many real estate agents working at so many either independents or brand names or franchises. Um, we could get up to 350 or 500,000 just in the United States. Right. Right. And it's such a unique and compelling business model that is not duplicated anywhere else. I mean, I ran our company with that uh, revenue grid for years. You know, I just realized that, you know, take me a hundred years with a hundred million dollars to just, I don't know, get close to what they're doing. Right. So now when I say they, we are they. We are there. Yeah. Um, you can't, if you can't beat them, what do you do? This is us. Yeah. You sign up and you go yeah. for the ride. Yeah. Well, the, the important thing I think is also the sponsor. It, uh, the sponsor is the person that's going to help you along the way explain. Um, I had some issues uh, coming in. Uh, first of all, I didn't know how long each thing was going to take. And it, that feels frustrating working with technology because you think it should be just instant. And a lot of times it, it, it isn't or it wasn't. Um, but it, by the time I calmed down and, you know, uh, and the next day happened and everything was just as I had set it up, I just couldn't. And, and that's at just one level um, of, of the setup. There are a variety of different things because it's a new system. You have new uh, paperwork. For instance, it, uh, everyone needs uh, some specific kinds of things like the wire fraud. Now, if, we, if here in Massachusetts, if you're not part of any of that, the lawyers and the banks uh, deal with the wire fraud. It, it never comes to us. Um, but in, in this system, everybody needs to have their clients and, and their buyers and sellers sign that. You know, it's- It, it's, it, it, it comes down from the insurance companies, I'm sure. Right, or the lawyers. The, the E&O company, well, yeah, because the E&O company is taking on all the risk now for 75,000 agents. Yeah. And that's why they want better trained agents. Right. And they want uh, agents that are- uh, mentored and coached and properly trained at, at every level. So um, it, it's a it's a very, um, I would say, well-trained organization. And they, well, they demand competency. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it's demand, but it, it's you're loading documents into a system and the system immediately says it's reviewing. And it's always takes, at least for me, I don't sit there and watch it. Uh, the next day, it's either uh, completed, it turns green, so it allows you to move forward on it, or it's, it's a yellow and there's a specific thing that you have to fix. And it could be a date, it could be something, but you're, you're told exactly what, what works. And that makes it simpler um, because you're looking at everything and you're not missing anything. There's been so many times, so many agents that I've, I've uh, co-broked with and they don't show up with the right, uh, the right forms in the right way. I would say a good portion, not majority, but a good portion of agents do not know how to fill out the lead paint disclosure properly. That's that's probably the, the, the big one. You know, it's it's always, you know, there should be an initial and here's a check or, you know, this yeah. one isn't checked off at all. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, well. Uh, We've did all you been give... guilty of it. You know, we make mistakes. But it has, they do have to be correct because it's a legal form. And, and these are big purchases and, uh, uh, once you know how to do it, you do the same thing over and over and over and over again. So uh, it gets built in uh, simpler that way. But uh, that but that, that's, you, you bring up, you know, picking a sponsor. And uh, one, th one thing I did, I don't want to say I took 10 years to find a sponsor, but in a way I did. Um, and a good sponsor is actually going to have, if it's not themselves, people that are employed by them who are going to help you not just sign up for EXP and get your license uh, transferred and, and all those things, but help you with SkySlope and help you with KV Core and help you with all the, um, the answers for right. those questions that you will inevitably have right. because as genius as the system is you have to learn the um, the intricacies of it to take right. advantage of right it. right but that happens everywhere you go every new agency you go to they have their way of doing things this is just so um completely transparent and you know where everything is at every moment if you have if you have a question, it's not here or in compliance office or you know in a in a folder where you can't find that that um, specific document. It's it's a different. It's a, it's far easier once I knew what to do and could kind of line stuff up because it is repetition. I'm smiling. Why am I smiling? Because I'm thinking a lot of companies are like, um, and there's nothing wrong with a Hyundai uh, Sonata. Uh, great car. Um, I, I think EXP and uh, the Castles Unlimited team and all that, it's like a Lamborghini. You really should know, you know, before you, you pop that clutch, what, what you're doing, or you're going to end up hitting a curb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know or if what? we're offending millennials talking about clutches. <laughs> Uh, you know, oh, I mean, Lamborghinis, I guess you can get an automatic. Why not? I don't know. I, I I'm don't sure. Know. I'm sure you can get any kind of transmission you want. I, I actually went to the Lamborghini um, Museum, which is like attached to the factory. Um, I, there was almost no way to get me out of that place. I thought, <laughs> you know, I'd go in there for about 10 minutes. Uh, was that Modena, Italy? Yeah. Amazing town. Ferraris there, uh, Maseratis there. Yeah, yeah, great cars. Got, got off track a little bit, but okay. So EXP is like a Lamborghini. Well, it does uh, turbocharge your your business, gives you more um, uh, lines of income, gives you lines of income where you don't have to uh, be out there selling all the time. I mean, my my thought is get younger agents, you know, and, and I can step back and do the mentoring and the teaching and, you know, the other skills that I have to bring to it. Uh, well, it's really one of the only companies that's allowing agents to retire and get paid by the company. Yeah. 
Yep. I mean, KW is going to do it also, but I, 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 I can't, I can't see how profit and revenue is an equivalent. No, they're not. It's not an equivalent. It can never be the same. Um, revenue is top line. Profit is not. And we, and we should probably um, end the show with talking about transparency also, because on that uh, first slide, we're talking about the split and everything, even with Keller Williams. And, and a lot of companies right now are changing all their policies just to be as competitive as they can right. be with the XP. Of course, they can't do everything that EXP right. is doing. Right. But they're doing their best to at least be in the same race, even right. though they're not going to win it. Um, so EXP, interestingly enough, pretty much has the same policy. And I say pretty much because I've found ways with starting agents off and getting, you know, special accommodations here or there. But once you're really in the system, everybody's treated exactly the same. Yeah, yeah which is a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. And if somebody actually has sponsored a few agents and they start seeing that income every month, it's gonna encourage them to bring on a few more over time because the money keeps expanding right. monthly. Right. So right. the transparency is one thing and the, the compelling money. Right. Right. Is, is the other thing that other companies can't really offer. Yeah. So um, if you like what you've, you've heard, give us a call. Um, um, send us an email. You'll see that in, on our page. Uh, we'd love to talk to you if you have any questions whatsoever. Come back next week, uh, next Friday, for another episode four. We'll see if we can get some of the technology right. <laughs> what do you think? You think we can? <laughs> Let that music run. Yeah. Or whatever it is that you play. I, mean, I don't know. Is it music? Yeah. Yeah, that's from a garage band thing. So. Uh, as long as it's royalty free. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that was really the point.